Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm giving you three separate home tours. These are throughout the years and as you can tell, the first one is when I first started YouTube. So bear with me. I know that there are a lot of changes some of you might see and wonder what's going on, but these are some of my past fall home tours starting off with a farmhouse look if you guys love that style i have plenty of decorating ideas to decorate for fall if you love that farmhouse look i also go into more of a simplified look with neutrals and then i also have that french country look as well i have a little bit of everything for you guys so this video is packed full of lots of fall decorating ideas for just about any style. So I hope you guys all enjoy this marathon. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer. If you see an item that I don't have linked in my description box, please ask in the comments and I'll be more than happy to find that for you. So let's just go ahead and get right into this home tour. Grab yourself something nice and warm to drink. Sit with a cozy blanket and relax and enjoy today's video. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you will know that I don't do a ton of talking through my home tours. I really want you to just enjoy the video and the music. And if you guys have any questions about where I purchased anything, I will be more than happy to answer you down in the comments below. So right here on my sofa, I purchased the buffalo check and the love pillow at Marshall's. I made the other two. And then on this shelf right here, I purchased the buffalo check pumpkin at the 99 cent only store. The other two pumpkins were purchased at Target in the dollar spot last year. I made the wreath last year. I actually did a video on that. I purchased most of the items at Hobby Lobby. And then going in here into the kitchen, um, I did a video on how I styled this. I will link that down below and in that video I do tell you pretty much everything where I purchased it and if I made it or um, whatnot. So more detail will be in that video if you are interested or you can just go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions where I purchased anything. So right here in my kitchen, I am just going to tell you about a little bit of how I did this table and the placemats were purchased at Big Lots. The plates that you see here, I purchased those at Walmart. They are Pioneer Woman. And the pumpkins I purchased at Target Dollar Spot last year. The Buffalo Check napkins, I purchased those at Home Goods And the greenery, I want to say I purchased that at Hobby Lobby. And then I just have this table runner here, and it's just a piece of fabric cut to size of a table runner. 
So right here, I purchased this urn here at Home Goods, and the velvet pumpkins, I purchased those at Hobby Lobby, and they came in like a bag. I actually did a video a while back on that, and I just have it set up pretty simple. And then right here, I have this cubby space. I don't even know what it is. It's just like an open cubby space right here in my kitchen island, and I just styled the pot in here or the container in here that I had my flowers in and I just styled it with some greenery and some pumpkins and the greenery was purchased at Michael's and most of the pumpkins were purchased at Hobby Lobby. So here is my formal dining room and right now I have it set up with more traditional colors and I purchased the appetizer plate, the napkin, and the plate underneath. I purchased all three of those at Home Goods. The placemat was purchased at Big Lots, the cotton stems, and some of the other floral pieces I purchased from Hobby Lobby. The local market box was purchased at Home Goods last year and a lot of the other floral pieces and the vine I had those from several years back so I don't really remember exactly where I purchased those Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to go check out Mandy, Missy, and Mackenzie's channel if you haven't already. Please be sure to subscribe if you are new. Make sure you give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Monica and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my home. I have it all decorated for fall. It is all so incredibly cozy and I am loving all of the decor that I have out right now. I'm going to do my best to let you know where I purchased everything, but I do like to keep my talking to a minimum in my 
home tours so you can just enjoy the music and just see how I have everything decorated. If there is something in this video that you would like to know where I purchased it, please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments and I hope you guys all enjoy today's video. So right when you walk in the front door, I have this little area here and I absolutely love decorating it throughout the seasons. I love making this area look really nice and inviting and cozy. This please remove your shoes sign I purchased at Michael's a while ago and I always get asked about these really pretty lanterns. I have two of them and I purchased them at Hobby Lobby. They do still have them and make sure that you buy them when they have their 50% off sales. These really pretty sweater pumpkins were purchased at Target last year and I did buy them when they were on clearance. I love to wait until the end of the season and then see what the stores have and you can get really, really good deals if you do that. This really pretty lacy looking vine I purchased at Target on clearance as well. And then these other cascading leaves that you see right here, those were purchased at Hobby Lobby. These really pretty French shabby chic style shutters were purchased at Michael's and the chippy painted window pane was purchased at Kirkland's. I love the way these pillows add so much coziness to this bench here, and I purchased all three of these at Home Goods. So the first room that I'm going to show you is the family room and I am going to start with this mantle area. I have these really pretty sconces that sit on either side of my fireplace and I do get asked about those all the time. I purchased them online. I cannot remember the website but I have seen them on the Home Depot website. That's not where I purchased them but I did see them there. I found these really beautiful corbels and candlesticks at Home Goods. Most of the items that I have in my home I do find at Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. Home Goods is definitely my absolute favorite place to shop. The prices are always very reasonable and you can find beautiful items there.
This rustic looking farmhouse scale was purchased at Hobby Lobby as well as all the floral pieces that you see sitting on top of it and the clock that is on the wall right behind it. My husband had made that and then I just stenciled those numbers on there. I do get asked about this slip cover that I have on my couch and I made this out of drop cloth and then all of the throw pillows that you see on here were purchased at Home Goods. The white ones were purchased at Home Goods, but I did purchase those pillow covers on Amazon. And then the throw blanket that you see on the sofa was also purchased at Home Goods. If you are visiting my channel for the very first time today, I would love to take a second and just say thank you. I really, truly appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my videos, and I would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of decorating over here, as well as some cleaning, and of course, I am so in love with home tours, so I do seasonal home tours as well. I'm going to take you into the kitchen area and I'm going to start with this hutch here and if you are interested in how I decorated any of these spaces I will be leaving links to all of my decorate with me videos for fall down in my description below. Here in my hutch I have this plate rack. It is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I have sitting in here. I purchased that at Hobby Lobby a few years ago and then on the second shelf right below it I have this bread box and I did paint this and add the handle on the top and the applique and I did stencil the um, fresh baked or the baked fresh daily um, stencil that you see on the front. These really pretty amber colored jars were purchased at Joann's and then this Main Street sign was purchased from Home Goods.
this mini atrium was purchased from home goods just the other day and I thought it would look super cozy if I just added a candle inside I purchased the candle from Bath and Body Works and it smells absolutely amazing and then I just have it sitting on this tray here and I purchased the tray at Kirkland's I love decorating this little planter box that I have sitting on my cabinet and I do use command hooks for this. The planter box was purchased at Joann's. The pumpkins and the floral pieces were purchased at Hobby Lobby and then this pumpkin spice everything sign was purchased at Big Lots a few years ago and I don't think they have it this year but I have posted this on my Instagram and I have gotten tons of questions about where I purchased that. This breakfast served daily sign was purchased at Home Goods as well as the Corbels, and I just use command hook tape for this. That way, I am not damaging my tile that I have here, and it sticks really well. I've never had any issues with anything falling down, and they are very easy to remove as well if you want to switch out your decor. So over here on my coffee bar, I have switched things out a little bit. I just purchased these white mugs with that hobnail design around the top. I got those at Home Goods the other day, and I thought they would look just perfect with the changing season over into Christmas, so that way I don't have to switch out those mugs. And then over here, I have my syrups that I like to add to my coffee in the morning, and they are very fall themed and that pumpkin praline pie is to die for it is so good and I purchased both of those at home goods and then right here in this ball canister jar I have my vital proteins and then the two white canisters were purchased at Walmart Sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in Sad words be spoken and I'll 
So here in my formal dining room, I always have this table decorated throughout the seasons and I have so much fun doing it. There is just something very therapeutic about decorating for me and I love setting this table up and I love always doing it a little bit different every single year. This year I decided to go with the cobalt blue and just mix that in with the neutrals and I think it turned out beautifully. And I did purchase the blue colored bowls and plates at Hobby Lobby. These copper looking mugs I purchased at Hobby Lobby as well. And the plates that I used just underneath those, the charger plate was purchased at Michael's and then the dinner plate was purchased at Home Goods. white chippy painted scale was purchased at home goods and then the pumpkins and the greenery were purchased at hobby lobby until winter comes until winter comes, until winter comes. it really makes me wonder That is it for today's fall home tour. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that you see here in this video, please feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it so very much if you gave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder everyone and welcome to my fall home tour. I am so glad that you are here today and I cannot wait to share with you how I have decorated my home for the fall season this year. Starting in the entryway, keeping the decor inviting and cozy, 
I decided to add lots of warm lighting with these beautiful candles and some cozy neutral pillows and a soft blanket that sits in this basket. I love the way these candles have such a natural flicker. I did purchase these off of Amazon. If you are interested in purchasing some for your home, I will go ahead and leave those linked in my description box. Moving on into the family room now and keeping with that natural and neutral look in here, I just added a few touches of that beautiful amber color with some glass jars on my mantle. I do get asked quite often where I found this fireplace screen and I did find it at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I love this. I think it is so pretty and fitting with my decor. I did buy it black and I ended up spray painting it white. I just felt like it looked better white. It goes more with my decor and I absolutely love it. I also get asked where I purchased my appliques and I'm going to try and link that in my description box in case any of you are interested in those. I love the way these candles look in these warm amber jars. I found the two larger jars at Target a few years back and then the three smaller jars were purchased at Joann's. Adding more warm fall colors to my ottoman with this beautiful floral centerpiece I made using silks that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. 
Everything about this family room is so incredibly relaxing and extremely cozy. Here in the kitchen, I added a very simple garland to my china cabinet. The garland was purchased at Target a few years back, and it really is so much fun to go out and buy all kinds of new fall decor every year, but I always, always, always try to use what I have first, and in most cases, I don't need to go back out and make any new purchases. So always make sure that you go through your fall decor and really try to use everything that you have already. Here in the kitchen, I have set my table using some beautiful china that I did already have. And then I decided to add some warm colors and textures. I love these woven basket type placemats and these beautiful fall colored florals that sit right here in the middle of the table. I really love keeping my home tours very simple without too much talking. So if you do see an item here in today's video and you are curious to know where I purchased it from, please do not hesitate to ask me down in the comments below and I will be more than happy to fill you in on all the details of that. picked up this basket at Home Goods, adding a few fall florals from Hobby Bobby, making this the perfect fit for this open little space in my kitchen island.
I could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal A favorite song I found this adorable fall bread box at Michael's a few weeks back and I absolutely love this. This was a fall item in the store and I did find it, like I said, a few weeks ago so they probably still have it. And you can use this year round. The colors are absolutely beautiful. They work for fall but if you have decor with some of those other colors, those warm colors that it has in there, you can use this pretty much year round. So here in my office area, I wanted to add a few touches of fall without going overboard and I love the way this beautiful planter looks sitting on my desk. I added some beautiful fall cascading leaves and then over here on these shelves that sit on the wall, I really wanted to warm things up over there and by that I added some white pumpkins and some beautiful fall florals. I wanted to keep things very simple and neutral in color, so I just added a few white pumpkins to these end tables. And then over here on my beautiful sage colored sofa, I thought that this long pumpkin pillow would look perfect. I love the little tiny colors of gray and green that really go with this sofa. 
and I think it really looks so pretty, warm, and inviting. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed today's fall home tour. If you did enjoy it, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys are all having an amazing start to your fall season and I look forward to you coming back to view some more videos in the upcoming weeks, months, and hopefully years. So I hope that you guys all enjoy your day. And again, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my fall 2022 home tour with you all. I hope this video gives you some inspiration and lots of decorating ideas. So sit back and relax and enjoy today's video. So before I take you inside, I want to quickly share my front porch. I tried to make things as simple as possible. Here in Las Vegas, it's really hard for me to keep real potted mums alive on my front porch. I found the perfect faux mums at Hobby Lobby and they worked out perfectly. I love the colors. I love that I mixed in the whites that I already have in my home as well as those burgundy colors that I will be using. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. The handle is left up right here. I also have a link in my description box that you can just click on. Here in the entryway, I wanted to keep it simple and add just a little pop of color. I did things a little differently from previous years and I started adding some of those jewel tones to my decor and I am so in love. I love the pop of color that it brings to my home. But here in the entryway, it is rather small. So I used that burgundy or purple color very sparingly. If you watched one of my other videos, I did a entryway makeover and I switched this up a couple different times and this is a little bit different from the last time but I love it I love those really comfortable neutrals with just that tiny little pop of color I found this beautiful glass fantasy style pumpkin at Marshall's a couple years ago and then those sweater pumpkins I found at Target The wreath that I have hanging on that mirror and these beautiful fall stems were both found at Target this year, so they should still have them.
Now we're going to go into the family room and this is where I definitely had the most fun with my decor. I would have to say my favorite place to decorate in this room is most definitely my fireplace mantle. What inspired me most with my colors to use this fall season is this painting here or this print. I found this print on Etsy, I believe, and I am just so in love with it. I think it is just so incredibly gorgeous. So I wanted to take those colors and use them in my fall decor. I'm going to try to incorporate those same colors in my Christmas decor if that is possible. I try to talk as little as possible in my home tour videos because I want you to just sit back and relax and view everything without a bunch of talking. So if you see something in today's video and you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. Both of these pillow covers were found on Amazon and I will leave them linked down in my description box.
Now we're going to move on into the kitchen and I want to start by sharing this beautiful china hutch with you. I hold all of my china in here and I had so much fun with this one. I love that I did use a tiny little bit of that burnt orange and red up here on the top and it really has that beautiful contrast between that white and those fall colors. And then on the inside, I decided to do something a little bit differently and place an oversized bird cage with some of my china and some fall leaves and florals. I always get asked about this diffuser, so I will go ahead and leave it linked down in my description box. I do want to let you know though, I did paint it white, so it comes in just a natural wood color.
well that is it for today's video i hope that you guys all enjoyed today's fall home tour if you have any questions about any of the products that you see here in today's video please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments i will be more than happy to answer for you thank you so much for watching be sure to click that red subscribe button before you click out if you haven't already and i hope you guys all have an amazing day i will see you in the next one bye